Coach Nick here with Valor Fitness and today we're going to go over the assembly of the CA27 leg stretch machine. It's a pretty simple build. Most of these things come pre-assembled, but grab your manual, do a double check, make sure everything you need is going to be here. In addition, you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench and a socket wrench or a drill. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off on page nine. You're going to grab part 34, which is this metal bracing here that's attached to part 42, and you're going to place it into the, one of the holes on the frame that's near the calf pad. Whichever hole you put it in is totally up for you and the comfort that you desire. And go ahead and make sure the pad faces the calf pad here. Okay, so it's facing out so it's comfortable against your skin. And then we're gonna move on here to part 43, which we're gonna attach to the framing. So you're gonna grab your 115 millimeter bolt, slide it through just slightly, make sure it lines up with the hole here on this back side. Goes all the way through and then grab a washer and a bolt, place it on the opposite side. And then with your 17 millimeter wrench and either socket wrench or drill, go ahead and get it in place. Good, let this brace come down so you can adjust the back, make sure it moves well. It's a little stiff, but not too stiff. And then last but not least, we're gonna grab our wheel here. There's a, should be a divot in it and there should be forks coming out on the frame. Go ahead and make sure those two insert, slides down nice and neat and the build is done. Now, before we use the product, we need to make sure part 40, our drive shaft, is properly lubricated because if not, it will be metal on metal and it will deteriorate the product faster. So you should have some grease in the box. We're going to take a little bit. I recommend using a latex glove or maybe some kind of paper towel. And just go ahead and spread it across the drive shaft, spread it on. You know, make sure you get good coverage all the way around to the best of your ability. And what we're gonna do here in a minute actually is use the product and we're gonna spread the grease manually through use of the product. Now that we have the drive shaft properly lubricated, we're gonna rotate the wheel, let the legs widen, and we're gonna run the gears up and down the drive shaft so that everything is lubricated. So I like to stand on the back and rotate the wheel. And then run it back. So as you can see, except for the squeaking of the handle, the drive shaft moved really clean. You didn't see me clunking up. It's because that drive shaft is now properly lubricated. And then what I would say is hop on yourself, give it a whirl again, make sure your calves are on the pads here and against these inner calf pads and go ahead and rotate the wheel. So now there's a little bit of resistance so you can see if you have it properly lubricated. If not, you can get any kind of multi-purpose grease or lubricant and we're done. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do hope this video helped. If you have any further questions or any comments, please feel free to give us a call or email us at valorfitness.com.